confession, and surrender prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, humbled and aware of my own imperfections and shortcomings. Lord, your word tells us in 1 John 1, 9 that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. I stand on this promise now, confessing my sins to you, trusting in your unfailing love and mercy. Father, I acknowledge that I have fallen short of your glory. I have allowed pride, selfishness, and fear to dictate my actions and thoughts. I have sought my own will over yours and have been stubborn in my ways. I confess these sins to you, asking for your forgiveness and cleansing. Wash me clean, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. As I confess my sins, I also recognize my need to surrender fully to you. Proverbs 3.5.6 reminds us to Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Father, I desire to trust you with all my heart. I realize that my understanding is limited and flawed, but yours is perfect. I want to submit to you in all my ways, allowing you to direct my path and make it straight. Lord, I surrender my past to you. All the mistakes, regrets, and burdens I carry, I lay them at your feet. I trust that you are working all things together for my good, as you promise in Romans 8.28. Help me to release the grip I have on my past, knowing that it no longer defines me. You have given me a new identity in Christ, and I embrace it fully. I surrender my present to you, Lord. My daily struggles, worries, and challenges, I hand them over to you. Matthew 6.34 instructs us, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Help me to live in the present moment, relying on your strength and grace to face each day. I trust that you are with me, guiding me, and providing for me. I surrender my future to you, Father. All my dreams, plans, and ambitions, I place them in your hands. Jeremiah 29.11 assures us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I trust in your divine plan for my life, knowing that your ways are higher than mine. Help me to seek your will above all else and to align my desires with yours. Lord, I surrender my relationships to you my family, friends, and loved ones. I entrust them to your care. Help me to love them as you love them, to forgive as you forgive, and to serve as you serve. Guide my interactions and conversations so that they may be a reflection of your love and grace. Strengthen my relationships, Lord, and help me to be a light in the lives of those around me. I surrender my fears and anxieties to you, Lord. Philippians the 4, 6-7 encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I lay my fears and worries at your feet, trusting that you will provide me with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Guard my heart and mind, Lord, and help me to rest in your perfect peace. Father, I surrender my weaknesses to you. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 reminds us, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I acknowledge my limitations and shortcomings, and I thank you for your grace that is sufficient for me. Help me to rely on your strength, knowing that in my weakness, your power is made perfect. Use my weaknesses, Lord, to display your glory and to draw me closer to you. Lord, I surrender my desires and ambitions to you. Psalm 37.4 tells us, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. I choose to delight in you, trusting that you know what is best for me. Align my desires with your will 
and help me to pursue what honors you. May my ambitions be centered on glorifying your name and advancing your kingdom. Father, I surrender my whole being to you. Romans 12.1 urges us, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. I offer myself as a living sacrifice, Lord. Take my heart, my mind, my soul, and my body. Use me for your purposes and for your glory. Mold me into the person you created me to be. As I conclude this prayer, I declare, Lord, that I fully surrender to you today. I trust in your goodness, your faithfulness, and your sovereignty. Guide me, lead me, and use me according to your will. Thank you for your unending love and grace. I place my life in your hands, confident that you will carry me through every trial and triumph. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Subscribe and share to bless others. Prayer for our children, surrendering to Jesus with parents. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and humility acknowledging your presence and your great love for us. As parents, we recognize the precious gift you have given us in our children. Your word says in Psalm 127.3, Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. We thank you for the blessing of our children and the joy they bring into our lives. Lord, we desire to bring our children before you, to dedicate their lives to you, and to teach them the ways of your truth and love. Deuteronomy 6, 6, 7 instructs us, These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Help us as parents to faithfully teach our children about you, to model a life of faith and to nurture their relationship with you. Father, we pray for our children's hearts to be open to surrendering to Jesus. In Matthew 19, 14, Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. We ask that you draw our children close to you, Lord, remove any obstacles that may hinder their faith, and create a deep longing in their hearts to know and follow Jesus. We pray for our children to experience your love and grace in a personal way. May they come to understand the depth of your love as described in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. We pray that they would believe in Jesus and accept Him as their Lord and Savior, knowing that eternal life is found in Him alone. Lord, we surrender our children's futures to You. Jeremiah 29:11 reassures us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We trust that You have good plans for our children. Guide them, protect them, and lead them according to your perfect will. Help them to walk in your ways and to seek your guidance in all they do. We pray for wisdom and discernment as parents. James 1.5 promises, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. We ask for your wisdom, Lord, to raise our children in a manner that honors you. Help us to provide a loving, supportive, and godly environment where our children can grow in their faith and character. Lord, we pray for our children's relationships with others. Surround them with godly friends and mentors who will encourage them in their walk with you. Proverbs 13.20 teaches us, Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. Guide our children to choose their friends wisely and to be a light in their circles of influence. We surrender our children's education and development to you, Father. 
Colossians 3.23 reminds us, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Help our children to pursue their studies and activities with diligence and excellence, doing everything for your glory. May they discover and develop the gifts and talents you have given them, using them to serve you and others. We pray for protection over our children, Lord. Psalm 91.11 assures us, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Keep them safe from harm and danger. Guard their hearts and minds against negative influences and temptations. Cover them with your wings of protection and let them find refuge in you. As parents, we also surrender our worries and fears about our children to you. Philippians 4, 6-7 encourages us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Help us to trust you fully with our children's lives, knowing that you love them even more than we do. Fill us with your peace and confidence as we entrust them to your care. Father, we pray for our children to grow in their faith and relationship with Jesus. May they develop a deep and personal connection with Him, experiencing His presence and guidance in their daily lives. We pray that they would find joy and purpose in following Jesus, becoming a testimony of His love and grace to others. As we conclude this prayer, we declare, Lord, that we fully surrender our children to you today. We trust in your goodness, your faithfulness, and your sovereignty over their lives. Guide them, lead them, and use them according to your will. Thank you for the precious gift of our children and the privilege of raising them to know and love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Subscribe and share to others.